Hi everyone, this is Lorelai, and today I'm going to show you the most incredible chocolate cake recipe on the planet. It's the easiest cake recipe. You just dump all the ingredients in, and mix it, throw it in the oven, and it's, it comes out perfect every time. This recipe gets rave reviews on my website all the time, and I'm going to show you today exactly how to do it. So stay tuned. Okay, for the chocolate buttermilk cake, we have one and three quarters cups of all-purpose flour, two cups of granulated sugar, three quarters cups of cocoa, two teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, one cup of buttermilk, one cup of coffee, one half cup of oil, two teaspoons of vanilla, and two eggs. I also have in the description box below the um, measurements in grams and in ounces. So I'm going to start with the flour and I'm just going to put all the dry ingredients together in one bowl. This is also called a dump recipe because you literally dump the ingredients all at once into the mixer and just mix it. It's so easy to do. So there's all my dry ingredients. Next you're going to put your flat beater on. I'm using a KitchenAid and it's a five quart bowl. I'm going to go ahead and put all the dry ingredients in. And then I'm just literally going to put all the wet ingredients in. Mixer on. First put it on low. Just to incorporate the wet into the dry. Then you're going to raise the beater to a medium. A little bit higher. And you're going to beat it for two minutes. This batter makes enough for two 8 inch or two 9 inch pans. And I'm going to show you what the batter looks like. It's actually quite thin. I'm going to fill up my pans about two thirds full. Of course, you could make smaller cakes. You can make a six inch cake and a bunch of cupcakes. And if you go to the website, you'll see suggestions for all that stuff, as well as a large batch recipe for wedding cakes. So you're gonna bake these in a 350 degree oven until done, which usually is about 30 to 40 minutes, and you're going to be able to just press on the tops and it will spring back when they're done. out of the oven. Looking good. Just lightly touch them and they should spring back. Perfect. I'm going to let them cool for about 10-15 minutes and then I'm going to take them out of the pans. So I just popped the cake out of the pan and I'm going to peel back the wax paper. Look at that. That is so beautiful. It's incredibly moist. Perfectly baked, delicious chocolate cake. 